Hi, welcome back. So somebody kindly requested a video of how to connect copper pipe to plastic pipe. So here we are. Now I recommend using some kind of push fitting. With a push fitting, it's a must that you use an insert like this. Basically what this is gonna allow uh, prevent happening is the pipe being crushed under compression. With most fittings, speed fit fittings, it will have some kind of an indicator. I don't know if you can see that there. It's a line to show how far the pipe should be inserted. Now, it's a good practice to mark on the pipe like this to show if your pipe is fully inserted into the fitting. Like so, so it's right on the edge there. And then we'd clamp up the fitting like this. This basically locks it into place so it can't accidentally be removed. And the same with the copper pipe. In this case, we don't need to put an insert because there's no risk of this pipe crushing under compression. Again, we'll mark the copper pipe so we know that our pipe is fully inserted into the fitting. And on these particular fittings, we have to tighten these nuts to lock them into place. I highly recommend using a pipe slice as shown here. What this will do as it cuts the pipe, it creates a bevel around the edge of the pipe, which is great because these push fittings have a rubber O-ring inside them. And if you have a sharp cut on this copper pipe, you could dislodge it when you insert the pipe and then you won't get to seal, you, you will have a leak. So I highly recommend using uh, a pipe slice when cutting copper pipe, especially for push fittings. You can see the rubber o-ring here. Now the second way to join plastic and copper together is with a compression fitting. One like this. We have nuts and olives. Now I don't recommend using a compression fitting on plastic pipe if you're new to plumbing. These are notoriously difficult to make a seal that lasts. If you're quite experienced in plumbing, then by all means go ahead. But in this instance, I, I'd highly recommend using a push fitting. They are designed to seal around plastic pipe. That being said, if you have no other options and you have to use a compression fitting, it, uh, the, the process is essentially the same. So we'll, we'll get the nut on. We still need to have an insert so to prevent the pipe from crushing under compression. We'll place the olives on and then we'll take the fitting and apply a small amount of plumber's paste like the one I have here. We'll just apply that to the inside of the fitting. Just like this on both ends. Then we'll insert the pipes. Now, this being a plastic pipe, we don't want to over tighten this. So this is where the experience in plumbing comes in handy because you'll know if you're over tightening it or not. And there is a big risk of over tightening on plastic pipe. So what we'll do, we'll get it done up probably as much as we can by hand and then maybe another whole turn with a tool and leave it at that. And then you can turn the water on, test it. If you've got a leak, Try nipping it up another quarter of a turn at a time. But if you over tighten it, you can have big problems and you won't get a seal. Thanks for watching. If you found this video at all helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit that like and subscribe button. But if not, check out these videos for more plumbing tips and advice. Until next time, see you later.